Right, welcome. Welcome back to the Cover for Caravans uh, video channel and part four of our Beginner's Guide to Caravanning. Okay, yes, right. We've assumed you've now got your caravan. Yep. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to hitch you up, ready for your first trip. We're off down to the New Forest, so we're hoping that you're going to join us on this journey from hitch up to sighting. Yep. Yep. Before we hitch up though, there's a few things we want to show them what we do inside the van yeah. before we get on the road. Obviously, when there's two of you, you will find mostly one does the outside, one does the inside. Yep. Well, it's that's the it's so, work for us, isn't it? And, and I think if you speak to a lot of people, that's the way it works. If you're on your own, it's a slightly different thing. So if you're on your own, I would assume you do the inside first yep. and then the outside. So that's how we will do yep. it. We will assume yep. that, yeah? Okay, so let's take you in the inside and get it packed, ready for its journey. Right, let's go, let's go. Okay, this is the inside. Well, obviously our caravan's in storage at the moment. Whenever we leave our caravan in storage, like most people do, and I hope they do anyway, um, you open all your cupboard doors to allow air to circulate. Rich can show you, you know, we, we generally leave it like this, um, and then air can get round everywhere. Um, we don't normally take our cushions away. Some people do that. So the you know air gets underneath. We don't. We sometimes put the doors down. But anyway, the first thing we do when we get over here, we've got to remove the water carriers because we always store them in here whilst she's in storage. But then we travel with them in the car. So the first thing we'll do this morning is remove these to the outside, ready to load up into the car. Okay, right, so the other thing we have to do, we have a solar panel that keeps the caravan battery charged whilst in storage. At a later date, we will do a separate video about solar panels or, you know, or we'll put a link to them and why you need them. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to put that there, ready to take it out the window when Richard does the outside. Anyway, <coughs> so now... We have certain things stored already, so these ones are easy, they're our uh, pullers, so we can just close them doors ready for travelling. And these ones as well, there's nothing in these, we haven't done the shopping yet, so there's no food or anything else in there yet, so we can close them. Same with this side, just close them up. When we come to the plate area, cups, saucers, everything else, we need to secure it, stop it rattling. What we tend to do is put in cushions. You have loads of these around. So I'm going to put that up there. Whilst it's on its journey, it stops everything rattling around. So that is now closed and ready for journey. It's the same with this one here. This is our microwave cupboard but we don't use a microwave, so we took the microwave out and it's good for the toaster and various other bits and pieces, our coffee maker and that sort of thing. Again, I'm going to close this up, but first of all, I'm going to put a cushion there and I'm just going to brush past Richard with the camera to get the other cushion that we normally use for there. And then again, it's secure. And then we're going to go to this side again. Everybody keeps all these scatter cushions. To me, they're ideal for securing everything whilst in transit. So again, we'll do that, close it up. I'm not going to keep doing it all round, but you get the idea of what we do. Okay, as you see in the bathroom, we do exactly the same. We leave cupboards open. So I'm just going to close them up, which is pretty straightforward. That one's already closed. So everything's closed up. We also here, this is our shower cubicle with a glass sliding door. One tip, always remember to check this. Last thing you do when you come out of the bathroom is check that. Okay, because you don't want that banging about whilst you're on journey. The other thing is, we now need to check all roof lights. Now, because we've been on storage, you would expect these all to be closed. But if you're on site, you may have had them open in this great British summers that we get. Um, so again, always make sure that your roof lights are closed, all of them. 
and windows. Again, just go round and check all windows are securely locked. Okay, so I think that covers most of the things inside. When you come out of the bathroom as well, always double check again that the bathroom door is closed. We have been known to leave it open and looking in the rear view mirror seeing it swing merrily away. So always check that door and again go around the rest of the caravan checking the windows. Okay the other thing we need to do as well is we always leave our fridge open like so. It's always open again to let air in whilst you're in storage. So the first thing you've got to do is close your fridge up. I'm just, I always put a, a towel in the bottom to soak up any residue water as well after it's been defrosting. So again secure your fridge and make sure it's locked. Okay, the next thing we need to do, we always keep our mirrors inside the van while she's in storage. We just leave them here really, we take them off and then just leave them there. Anyway, that is our next job, we're going to put the mirrors on and then we're going to go outside and Richard is going to show you what he does to get ready for hitching up. Right, so I'm going to pop the uh, extension mirrors on now. Um, what you'll find is the first time you put these on you will spend a fair bit of time adjusting them getting them the right angle so you can see as far back as possible once you've got them right little tip put a couple of little marks on your car mirror and then the next time you put them on they'll always be at least roughly in the right place and do make sure they're nice and tight as we mentioned there's, there's loads of different brands variety of mirrors out there these are Malenko Grand Aeros and they are fantastic, they are a great mirror, they really are. So just make sure that's nice and tight. And let's go. Right, inside's about ready to go. Um, first thing I'm going to do is take off the wheel lock. Now hopefully you've uh, listened to our other part and you've got yourself a wheel lock and you've satisfied your insurance company. Okay, next, hitch lock. You see, this one is an Alco one, which is specific to the hitch, um, but there are plenty of others available that are a lot cheaper too. And forget the, <coughs> as well. Right, as Trevor mentioned, the solar panel, so I'm just going to disconnect that now. And one thing that you don't want to forget, once you've done this, is to go back inside the van and make sure the window's secure. Right, time to get the legs up. I've actually already done the back ones. Just going to do the front ones now. We're using the old-fashioned uh, wrench. We haven't got round to a drill bit yet. It's, um, it's not hard. There we go. Okay, so we've got the locks off. We've got the legs up. Um, we tend to keep this sort of stuff in the front lock and it's quite heavy. So what we do before we set off is we transfer that to the boot of the car. Um, the heavy stuff like the power cables, ramp, wipes and so on. So I'm just going to shift those in the boot and then we're almost ready to go. Right, so almost ready to go. Hitch up time. Trev's going to get the car ready and we'll show you how, we, how I direct him in and hopefully get the tow ball in line to the hitch. Right, so Trev's just reversing up now, and this is how we line up. I'll stick my hand roughly in the air, then I can give him directions. Right, dead slow, but as you are. Right, one foot, 
right and whoa okay that's that looks pretty good to me yep I'm actually a little bit over to one side and there we go now although that's clicked on there's a very good way of testing and that is to wind the wheel back up and if it starts to lift your car up it's on securely so now we're going to drop that all the way down and then release the handle and raise the jockey wheel Double check that's nice and secure. Right, we plop in the power cable next. This is a 13 pin one, twists and turns. And then the all important, perhaps the most important bit of all is a breakaway cable. If for some reason, this becomes detached, what will happen is this will pull, this will break, and it will apply the brakes to the caravan. Um, it's very important you get this right. Okay, there we go. One more thing to do, that's to engage the stabilizer. Make sure your cables clear there right all hitched up right so that's um it's fairly easy or straightforward if there's two of you um if you're own on your own obviously it's not quite as easy if you have a motor mover best thing is to use that get the car as close as you can see and then motor mover uh the, the caravan onto the hitch or alternatively a little reversing camera not that expensive these days sort of positioned there and you'll be able to guide the car back to the caravan exactly Excellent. right almost there all hitched up um i'm just gonna have a walk around the van now check all the windows are secure the lockers are secure done that one all the windows are shut all flats are secure and don't forget your steps So that's shut, we've got the legs up. Quick look to make sure there's no roof lights open. Right, at this point, now you've got the, the car on the van, you want to be lining up your mirrors. And the last thing you want to do before you set off, and again, this is easy with two of you, is to make sure your caravan lights work. And we go through those one by one. Right, that's it, nearly time for the off. Yep, so the next time we shall see you, we should be pulling in to the New Forest camping, Caravan and Motorhome motor home <laughs> Club site. Club site. Um, and there we will show you how you check in, find your pitch and pitch up. Get your so, legs down. Get your legs down. Anyway, see you soon. Cheers. Cheers.